Holy crap. Stop singing. I remember this came out in 1998. And yeah, this is kind of a big deal because this game here was revolutionary in the sense that it went back to the past. Here we got a whole bunch of 3D visuals, a nice pop-up book effect. But the cool thing about Yoshi's story is that it went back to traditional 2D gameplay that made games like Super Mario World, Donkey Kong Country so famous. Everybody loved those games on the Super Nintendo and the original Nintendo itself. And look at this. We got a 2D game here on Nintendo 64. A system that's known for 3D visuals. You use an analog stick and the buttons and all that. It's supposed to be meant for 3D games, but Nintendo took a chance here and made an all new TV game for their 3D system. I gotta admit, that's pretty ballsy. Unfortunately, <laughs> that's the only ballsy thing about this game is the premise. Uh, because look at this shit. Uh, the game is way too fucking cute. Now, this was back when the whole war was going on between the PlayStation 1 and Nintendo 64. The PlayStation was getting games like Metal Gear Solid, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, Final Fantasy 7, all those great games that had like mature feed to them. You know, and the world. You know, you're hunting down zombies and Resident Evil. It seemed like more a grown up system. Here, Nintendo releases a super key game that appealed to only younger players. And that's whole storyline about this game is Baby Bowser kidnaps a happy tree, the grown up Yoshis are all sick, and now the baby Yoshis have to save the grown ups. Yeah, we have to save a fucking tree, big fucking wolf. The problem is, I like those games Donkey Kong Country and the original Yoshi's Island for Super Nintendo, but the problem is, I'm a grown man now. The game is way too fucking cutesy. Yoshi! Yoshi, I'm fucking annoying, I'm Yoshi! Look at me, I'm Yoshi! And you probably wonder why am I collecting all this fruit stuff? There we go. The more fruit you collect, <laughs> especially these melons, the more points you earn. Honestly, I don't really give a shit though, so I just grab all the fruit anyways. Once you collect 30 of them, boom, the stage is over. It's a weird premise. Instead of going left and right and finishing the stage, you collect this fruit. This little doggy here will help you out. And collecting these hearts will help you find bonus stages. Alright. So there we go. We ate 30 pieces of fruit and we finished the level. Big fucking whoop. <laughs> Once you complete six stages, boom, you're done. The game is so fucking short. Yoshi's Island on the Super Nintendo had like 48 levels to it. You can complete this entire game in just six levels. Oh yeah, and don't expect a good ending either. They just replay what you've done before in the air levels with that same crappy music. Ah, uh, here's another bad thing about this game. You asshole. You asshole. You asshole. The fucking Yoshis are calling me an asshole. This, how can this be a fucking kids game? Okay, the Yoshis grew fucking happier and happier. And then at the end of the stage, boom, it tells you, Okay, you saved the tree and now everybody's fucking happy. Yay, you saved the fucking tree. Good for you. Yeah, that was 80 bucks well spent. Yeah, remember, this game was 80 fucking dollars. There's some secret routes you can get in the game, so there's a maximum of 24 levels, but that's less than half. 
All right, and the different colors don't matter. Just a whole bunch of fucking race wars. Oh yeah, and I should also point out another weird thing about Yoshi's story here is... Even though this is geared to be a 2D game, I had to use an analog stick to move Yoshi. Now, that may seem like, okay, what's the big deal about that? It helps me move his tongue around, up and down, in different directions. But, it also creates a problem, like, the jumping doesn't seem quite as precise as Yoshi's Island and all the other 2D platformers I played on Super Nintendo because I'm not using the digital pad. So the controls feel way too loose in this new game. Yeah, yeah, you have to be careful what you eat too. Alright, the game is filled with some nice secrets. I like the fact that you can replay levels to see if you can get like a better score but if you don't like the main game to begin with oh, you're not gonna play those features anyway this was such a huge disappointment because I wanted to like this game I wanted to throw back to the classic 2D games of old but no thankfully they would get it right on the DS with Yoshi Island Yes, more varied gameplay, more levels, classic gameplay. <laughs> look at those crappy tetras on the ground there. Does this look 64 bit to you? So it's a very interesting art style. It does have some cool effects here and there, but if you compare this to like Super Mario 64, there's no comparison. This looks like shit. And memory wise, this was twice the size of, yeah, Super Mario 64. And look at the pixelation there. Jeez. Oh. Hee <laughs> hee. Look at me, I'm fucking Yoshi. If you're desperate for a 2D action game for your Nintendo 64, you might like this, but it's a very big if. But be warned, Mario is not in this game for a very good reason. He knew this game sucks, so he said, Oh, mommy, I don't want to be involved with this piece of shit. Yoshi, you're on your fucking own. Fucking lose controls, way too fucking cutesy storyline. Even these fucking fruits. I know other games like Diddy Kong Racing and Kirby 64 also went for the cute look. They didn't fucking go this far. <laughs> Grow some fucking balls, you little pussy. Yeah, you can find some secret suits like a black and white Yoshi, big fucking wolf. Who fucking cares? Since fucking sages, you're done. Music fucking annoying. Graphics are kind of disappointing for a Nintendo 64 game. Controls are way too fucking loose. Ah, and here's the kicker. It's not as good as Yoshi's Island. That was at least three years earlier on an inferior system. It's not as good. Yoshi's story here for Nintendo 64. It disappointed me back then and it disappoints me now. It earns a 28 out of 100. Maybe I would have rated it higher if it was a standalone game, but no, this is a sequel. This is supposed to be a return to class of 2D action, but no! They had to fucking a lot. Ah. Alright, okay, this is Dark Souls Girl over now. Ah. Oh my god. This is bullcrap. <laughs> Are you ready? We're ready. Star Soldier 1 what? got 20. <laughs> okay, try it now. Star Soldier 1 got 21,000. I only got 5,900. I'm going to play the Atari 2600. I suck ass. He went too fast through the level. Oh, I, he, I play like a double. He is in, he's in heaven and I'm in hell. I should be playing a game with turtles, like a, with a shell. I, I really don't know what else to say. This guy's a pro. And I'm not gay. <laughs> 
<laughs> keep going, man. Yeah, do good. I don't know what else to say. Uh, Star Soldier 1 has too much fun. So, uh, yeah, so I suck ass, and he knows it, so he's the best, and I'm the worst. But one of these days, I'll finish first. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh.